Hey guys, my name is Art, and I'm a technical support engineer here at PaperCut. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the quick install of a PaperCut application server on a 64-bit Ubuntu server operating system. First, we'll want to go over some system requirements, like being up to date on patches, and making sure that the printer we want to track is shared appropriately. Here's our print queue on the Ubuntu server. Next, we'll make sure that Cuff is configured to share the printer over the network. Next, add it to an Apple Mac client and a Windows workstation. Once your system is updated and you can print other hosted queues from Windows and Mac, we'll create the host user account and firewall settings. Create a user account on the system called PaperCut. I'm going to use the command line here, but you can do it through the GUI as well. The syntax for adding a user varies from distro to distro. It can also be called add user or add group. Next, we'll configure the firewall to enable PaperCut's TCP ports. We use 9191 for HTTP and 9192 for HTTP secure. Make sure you download the right file for your server's architecture. i686 is for 32-bit operating systems, and x64 is for 64-bit operating systems. Here's my installer. I'm going to make it executable and then run it. Follow the installation instructions and enter the root password when requested. The installation process takes between 2 and 5 minutes depending on the speed of the system. A system restart isn't required, but admins are advised to perform installation on live production systems during periods of low activity. For example, not during backup operations or other admin activities. So now that the install script is finished running, We'll click on the URL in Terminal to run the App Server's setup wizard. First, we'll generate and verify a password six characters or longer, and then make sure you've got the right locale chosen. Then click Next. For this video, we'll choose the Education Organization type. Next, we'll set the default costs for printing. For an education implementation where users are charged for their printing, leave these values as zero during the setup stage. Otherwise, students will not be able to print as they cannot yet add credit to their account. Then click Next. Here, enter the amount of credit each user will receive when first enabled. You can also deny printing once users run out of credit. You can change both of these things later. PaperCut pulls user information out of the system or domain. In user source, we're going to choose LDAP to connect to our Windows domain running Active Directory. Some implementations will also use Samba or Unix standard options. You can choose whether to import all the users in AD or just a group. This time, we're going to choose all the users. Finally, you can verify all of your options on the last screen. Clicking Finish begins the user import from AD. Clicking Login brings us to the Admin Console's dashboard. Next, we'll modify the CUFS device URI for our printer so that the PaperCut backend is incorporated into the print process. To automate this, run the configure CUFS script as root. Follow the instructions to enable the printers in the server queue on PaperCut.
Clicking on the Admin Console's Printers tab lets us see the printer we just enabled. Next, we'll try a test print from the Mac client we set up earlier. As an example, here's the enabling username aliasing page from the manual. I'll make sure to print to the queue on the server. We can see the print job make its way to the app server. And then we can check the printer's job log on the admin console. And find the manual page we printed just a moment ago. This has been a walkthrough on how to perform the Papercut Quick install for Linux. If you have more questions, search papercut.com for Linux. Or reach us at support at papercut.com.